Hello everyone, we are DSCI 2025 in Tokyo in Japan and we are in a Raphael booth with uh, Boris Katzman, Director of Naval Warfare Products. Uh, hello Boris. Hello, nice meeting you Martin. Yeah. So you are showcasing uh, your family of decoy uh, here at DSCI. Well, can you tell us a bit about your uh, expectation about the, the show today and about the region in Asia Pacific? Yeah, sure. So Rafael is a producer of uh, active and passive decoys for the protection of uh, uh, vessels. And we've been developing them, fielding these uh, products for the last uh, 60 years and got a lot of experience. In the last years, we see a lot of demand for uh, increasing the protection of naval uh, platforms uh, for uh, mostly against uh, advanced threat like anti-ship missiles. So the chaff that was used in the past is becoming uh, obsolete and we are moving to different products. We are showcasing here two products. One of them is the Wizard passive corner reflector and the other is the CGM active decoy. There is a lot of interest, uh, specifically in uh, uh, Asia Pacific, about the, these capabilities, uh, both on the corner reflector and also on the active decoy, which is a unique product that we have. So, uh, just here in Japan, there's a lot of interest about Wizard. Can you tell us a bit more about this? So, uh, I think in Japan, and if I look also wider in the Asia Pacific, there is a trend to move to launchers, which can launch a standard 130 millimeter uh, decoys, which is already in service in, uh, with uh, the GMSDF. And uh, our uh, product here is compatible with this kind of uh, uh, launchers as well and uh, we can uh, both uh, fit this, the Wizard and the CGM Active decoys into these uh, existing launchers or new launchers to be introduced soon. So original design for our launcher and fitting uh, uh, later into many other launchers, we are, we, I can say now we are also compatible with uh, Safran and GDS launchers and some other launchers using uh, standard uh, NATO uh, uh, decoys or other decoys as well. So you are not exclusive with uh with any specific launcher, you can be agnostic, right? We are totally agnostic. We are already discussing with uh, many customers are uh, fitting uh, our uh, the CGM decoy into different types of launchers. So about the CGM system, like active uh, decoy, uh, do you have yet any customer? And uh, still about the wizard, the same question. Yeah, so the product is pretty new. Uh, we launched it uh, officially, became operational two years ago with uh, with the Israeli Navy, and uh, today uh, we already have uh, two customers uh, from NATO that already uh, procured this uh, capability, and uh, we are uh, uh, there is a lot of other interest with other countries, uh, both in Europe and also in the um, Asia Pacific. Well, thank you very much, Boris. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Martin.